Good day everyone, it's been a while. Um, this is my 20 circuit charger which only has 15 circuits at the moment. <laughs> it's as far as I can go until I get a, a fourth coil and circuit box put together. So I've got three coils. Each of these has five windings, so there's 15 windings altogether. This coil has the trigger, these are slaves. Uh, these are circuit boxes. I have this pot on here at the moment because until I get the fourth unit in, um, the resistance won't be set. What I've done is I've set um, the machine so that it pulls three amps, one for each coil. So when it's finished it'll pull four. Um, so I'll have to readjust that when the fourth goes in there. At the moment the pot's set for about 60 ohms and then each each transistor has a um, 100 ohm resistor on there. Um, so I'll just replace it with a 60 ohm or I guess it'll be a 65 or 70 ohm little light so when you turn it on you know it's on. Um, so these are the, excuse my wiring, let's move this out of the way. Colour blinds, I don't care what colour wires I use. I think these are all blue. <laughs> so I've got, um, what's this one? That's the trigger, the green, the big green bus bar is for the trigger. The blue one is out to the batteries. And the black one is the emitter. Or both, basically. Um, so these are the plugs I have. Just so you can't get them in the wrong way. Go in there like that. So everything's nearly done, it all works. Um, so I've got this battery down here, the one in the middle, the red handle. I just finished partially draining that one for the last few hours. Let's turn this back on. It does a weird thing. Alright, so it's just sitting at 12.4. I'll just turn this on. Start shooting up straight away. It's drawing just on three amps now. So this will gradually go up and uh, charge quite quickly. So right now it is eight. What's that? Twenty-three p.m. Um, don't have another clock to do a comparison. I'll come back when that gets a bit higher and we'll see how long it took. Okay, it's been about an hour and we'll check the battery, the red one, it's up to about 13 volts. So that's not too bad because there's only conventional current, there's only about oh, one and a half amps going to that battery. Normally that wouldn't be enough to do that. So, so far it's going pretty well. Um, just got to add the other one here. On a side note, this is my little household battery charger. I've converted that to run off the Tesla Impulse Tech out of the um, video number seven that John Bedini talks about, the one wire power. And it uh, seems to be pretty good. It's working pretty well. It's, um, I tried it on, on this coil originally. I took one strand and put that through a bridge rectifier. And it's interesting that even though I'm only using one of them, the rest were going through the transform transistors. Um, and I didn't have any output on the battery except from the, the bridge rectifier. All of the strands, none of the neons lit up at all. I was expecting at least the ones I wasn't using to light up. But they didn't, so... So there's that. Anyway, I just thought that was interesting. Um, it's on and off switch. So later on I'm going to have a panel across here. I'm going to mount some gauges, you know, input, power, current, voltage on the battery you're charging. This is designed to be on a boat, so it'll be pairing from other batteries as well, or solar panels. So it'll have voltage on the input as well. And uh, anyway, so I just want to do that quick video to show what I'm doing. Um, oh, in case anyone knows, this is the pulse width mod modulator that we got for our hydrogen booster. Um, we had a current spike and it for some reason stopped working, so out of sheer frustration I suppose I've replaced every single component on here. There is nothing original about it and it still doesn't work. And I've replaced them with 
absolute identical parts. Um, the MOSFETs, everything. So I'm really confused. So I think that was a waste of 100 bucks or 60 bucks. Anyway, if anyone knows what the problem could be, let me know. It just doesn't. No power is getting through it, but every component tests that it's good, so not sure. Anyway, this is my charger. <laughs> um, it's, oh, by the, in case you're wondering, it uses the solid state setup that Jettis did on the energetic forum. If we just take the diode from the emitter and the, and the base of the transistor, we remove that and it allows it to self oscillate. Um, so I think it's pretty good. Gotta remember that battery, the red, red handle, that's not conditioned. It just said it was a battery we had to throw away from that's from our car and I uh, wouldn't start the car anymore so I just had that out mucking around with it lately but haven't had anything powerful enough to do a decent charge on it and now I do so I've just started so yeah it should go alright the other ones down there I've got to recondition they're all from scrap okay cheers